So this video is a continuation of um, semester two final review, classwork number one, but this is the section on 1.5 solving equations. And then I'll do a separate one on section two, that way they're broken up if you need one chapter in particular. So this is gonna be solving equations. So for these problems, our goal is to solve for X. These first ones here in this first column are all what we call one step equations. There's one thing I need to do. So in this situation, I'm gonna minus two from both sides and I'm gonna get X is equal to three. That was my one step. In the second one, um, y is being divided by two. So to get rid of division, I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. What's gonna happen here is this two and this two are gonna really make a one and I get left with y is equal to eight. On number three, or the third one, um, I have a three times in with an X. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I get X equal three. All of those are called one step equations. The next column is all two step equations. Now I'm going to get rid of my add and subtract first and then any multiply and divide. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to add four to both sides here. And I am gonna get two X is equal to 20. That was my first step. My second step, I need to get rid of that two. So two is multiplying with X. The opposite of multiplication is division. That is my second step. And I get X is equal to 10. The next one, um, I am going to be, again, trying to get rid of that minus two. So I'm gonna to add two to both sides. That's gonna be my first step. I am going to get X over three is equal to eight. Now the three is dividing with the X. So to undo division, I am going to do the opposite. I'm going to multiply and I have to do it to both sides. Now, when I multiply both sides by three, this three and three make a one and I am left with X is equal to 24. The next section, um, I have 5x plus 70 is equal to 32. I need to minus 7 from both sides. That's my first step to get rid of the plus 7. And I get 5x is equal to 25. To get rid of the 5 that's multiplying with my x, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide. And I end up with x is equal to 5. All of those are called two-step equations. In the next section, we are doing two things. We're going to be combining like terms in the first column. So when I'm combining like terms, I'm adding x's with x's. So I have a 3x. And this minus goes with the 2x. So that's a minus 2x. Um, I have a positive or plus y and I have a plus four y. I have a um, plus seven and I have a minus 10. So for my x's, I'm gonna do three x minus two x, which is x. I am going to do y plus four y, which is a positive five y. I am gonna do seven minus 10, which is a negative three. And that's my answer. Um, in the next example, first thing I'm going to do is distribute that four. So that is going to give me a four X plus four Y. And then I still have my minus X plus three plus seven minus three. So again, I'm going to be getting X's. So I have a four X and a minus x. Those are going to be like, I have a positive 4y and a positive 3y. And then I have a positive 7 and a negative 3. So in terms of my x's, 4x minus x is going to be 3x. 
um, 4y plus 3y is going to be a plus 7y. And for my numbers, a positive 7 minus 3 is going to be a positive 4. And that is our answer. Now, in the last section, I have a um, x squared and another plus x squared. I have a minus 12 and no other numbers. I have a 2x and I have a minus x. And I have a minus 4y. So when I do this, my 3x squared and my plus x squared is going to be a 4x squared. Let me do my x's next. Um, my 2x minus x is going to be 1x or just plus x. Um, I'm going to have a minus 4y and I'm going to have a minus 12 and that's our answer. In the next section, distributing, um, we can do this, these problems in two different ways. So one way is to distribute. Um, and one way is to divide. Um, so first way, I could distribute that 4x into both of those. And when I distribute that 4 to the x and the 2, I'm going to get a 4x plus 8 equals 16. And then I'm going to solve. And okay, now it's a two-step problem. I'm going to minus 8 from both sides. I'm going to get 4x is equal to 8. My next step is to divide by the 4. And I get x is equal to 2. Now, I could have done that same problem by taking the number that's in front, 4. Since 4 goes into 16, what I could have done is I really could have divided both sides by 4. I could have divided this side by four and this side by four. And when I do that, I get x plus two is equal to four. Then I can minus two from both sides and I end up with x equal two. You see both ways gave me the same answer. And the only reason I divided both sides by four was because four actually went into the 16. Otherwise I wouldn't do that. Um, on the next one, actually, I'll probably just do it one, one way. Um, I, I could divide, but I just think what I'm going to do is just distribute my um, negative to both of these terms. So when I distribute my negative, I'm going to get a negative 2x. And a negative times a negative is a positive 4 is equal to 24. I am going to minus 4 from both sides. I am going to get negative 2x is equal to 20. Now I need to divide by not just the 2, but a negative 2, because that's the number in front. And I get x is equal to negative 10. On number, th well, the third one, um, I can distribute the 3 to both terms. And 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times a positive 2 is a 6 equal negative 27. Then I am going to minus 6 from both sides. So I'm going to get a 12x is equal to a negative 33. And then I'm going to divide both sides by a 12. And when I do, I am going to get x is equal to a negative 33 over 12. Or a, if I take 3 from both of them, a negative 11 force. Now, another thing I could have done here was, again, 
this three does go into this negative 27. So I could divide both sides by negative three. I mean by three, divide this side by three, divide this side by three. When I do that, I get a four X plus two is equal to a negative nine. I am going to minus two from both sides. And when I do that, I get a four X is equal to negative 11. I divide both sides by four and you see, I'm gonna get the same answer, a negative 11 force, just like I did on the other side. Now in this section, um, we've got on the left-hand side variables on both sides and on the right-hand side, ones we're gonna solve for y. We have literal equations. Actually, all of them are lines that we're trying to rewrite in y equal form. So um, when I have x's on both sides, okay, I have a three x and I have a two x. I like to deal with my x's first and then my numbers. So I am going to um, either minus three x or minus two x. I think minusing two x is gonna be nicer because I'm gonna get a positive. So I'm gonna get a positive x just write that one better, sorry. A positive x um, plus two is equal to a negative six. I'm going to minus two from both sides. And when I minus two from both sides, I'm gonna get x is equal to negative eight. Now on the next one, um, I am gonna distribute the four since the four doesn't go into the two, it does go into eight, but it doesn't go into two nicely. So I'm gonna distribute and I'm gonna get a four X plus four is equal to two X plus eight. Now, again, I have a four X and a two X. So let's get those on the same side. So I am going to minus two X I'm going to minus 2x, and I'm going to end up getting 2x plus 4 is equal to 8. I'm going to minus 4. I get 2x is equal to 4. I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and when I do, I get x is equal to 2. Um, before I try to get my X's on the same side, when you have like terms on the same side of the equal, you can combine them. So the ones that I'm gonna be combining, I have this five X and I have this plus two X. So that's gonna become a seven X minus seven is equal to four X plus two. Now I've got a, 7x and a 4x, I am going to subtract 4x from both sides. I am going to get 3x minus 7 is equal to 2. I am going to add 7 to both sides. I get 3x is equal to 9. And when I divide by 3, I get x is equal to 3. Now on the other column, we're trying to get all of them to be y equal. So I am going to try to get the y by itself. So I'm trying to get this positive three y, this positive two y, this negative three y by itself first. That's my first step. For these, I'm not gonna get an equation. I mean, uh, any, a number, I'm gonna get an equation back. So if I minus four x from both sides here, I am going to get three y is equal to, I'm gonna write it as a negative, try one more time, as a negative four x, as a negative four x plus seven. Um, and then I'm gonna divide both sides by three. So I'm gonna divide this by three. I could divide each of these separately by three and get my answer to be y is equal to negative four thirds x plus seven thirds. Or you can also um, 
divide that whole side by three and end up with a negative four X plus seven all over three. These are both the same answers. On the next problem, um, I am going to minus two X from both sides. So I'm gonna minus two X from here. I'm gonna minus two X from here. And I am going to get a two Y is equal to, I'm gonna write the negative two X first and then the plus eight. Then I'm gonna divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. In this case, I would divide each of them separately by two because they each are divisible by two. So this is gonna be a negative X plus four. And that's going to be our answer. On the last one, I'm going to minus 5x from both sides. Um, I am going to get a negative 3y is equal to, and again, I'm going to write negative 5x plus 9. I am going to divide by negative 3. Now, I can divide each of them separately by negative 3 or all together. Let me first divide each separately. So that's gonna be y is equal to negative over negative is gonna be a positive 5 thirds x. Positive divided by negative is a negative three. That's gonna be one answer. Or again, if I divide the negative five x plus nine all over by a negative three, that is another possibility. In the next case, section we have special cases all these are special cases um now again i had showed that we could divide by the four but four goes into the four but four doesn't go into the seven so i'm not going to divide i am definitely going to distribute as my first step so i'm going to distribute the four to the x and the four to the two and i'm going to get a four x plus eight is equal to a four x plus seven now i have a situation where i have x's on both sides so I have a four X, whoops. I have a four X and I have a four X. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to minus four X here. Let me write it better. And I'm gonna minus four X here. And I am going to have my X's cancel out, but you wanna see what you have. If your X's cancel out, you're either gonna have no solution or all real numbers. Since this is a false statement, our answer is gonna be no solution. Now, if I'm going down here in this situation, I have things that are like terms. So I am going to take my 5x and the negative 2x, and together that's going to make a 3x. So I have a 3x plus 8 equals 3x minus 5. So now I have a 3x. Let me just change that color. I have a 3x and a 3x. So if I subtract 3x from both sides, I am going to get eight is equal to negative five. Again, no solution. Now on the next one, um, first thing I'm gonna do is distribute the six because if I was to divide by six, I'd have to divide this by six, this by six, and this by six, and that's not gonna be reasonable. So I am going to distribute and I'm gonna get a six X minus 12, minus six X is equal to four. Now I have things that are like on the same side of the equal. In particular, I have a six X minus six X. Those are gonna cancel out. I'm gonna get negative 12 is equal to four, no solution. On the other side, um, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna distribute this two, and I'm also going to combine like terms because those ones are on the same side of the equal. And the ones I'm gonna be looking at is my three X and my minus X. That is gonna give me two X plus two. On the other side, when I distribute my two, I'm gonna get a two X plus two. 
Um, you might notice that we have the same, so same thing on both sides of the equal, but let's say you weren't paying attention. Get rid of your x's first. So what I'm gonna do is minus two x here, minus two x here. I would always recommend dealing with your x's first and I get two is equal to two. That means all real numbers is our answer. In the next situation, um, I am going to be distributing this negative five to the X and to the two, that five X is just gonna remain there. So I will have five X. Okay, and again, this negative five is gonna times with this X and that's gonna give me a negative five X. And my negative five is gonna distribute with the two and that's gonna give me a minus 10. Let me do my minus. A minus 10 is equal to 10. So I have like things on the same side of the equal. Again, in particular, I have a 5x minus 5x. That's going to cancel out. And I'm going to be left with a negative 10 is equal to 10. And a negative 10 equal to 10 is no solution. In the next situation, um, I am gonna clean up a couple things. This side, I'm going to combine like terms. And so the, what I'm gonna do in particular is I have this seven minus seven, which is gonna cancel out and I'm gonna be left with X. On the other side, I'm gonna do this math. I have a one sixth times six. One six times six is six over six or a one. So I'm gonna get X equal X. Now you'll notice that both sides are equal to each other. So this is going to be all real numbers. Okay, and that's gonna be the end of this video. I'll make a video for chapter two.